Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome to Travel Blog Jamie. Today I am going to take you on a full walking tour of Morella Discovery. Yes, from top to bottom. There is no time to waste. Let's get those step counts up. Follow me and let's explore. Did you know that Morella Discovery was formerly Royal Caribbean's Splendour of the Seas and subsequently Tui Discovery? The maiden voyage for Splendour of the Seas was on 31st of March 1996. In March 2015, Royal Caribbean sold Splendour to Tui Cruises. It wasn't until the 9th of October 2017 that Thompson Cruises would be renamed Morella Cruises and that Tui Discovery would adopt the name Morella Discovery at the end of October 2017. With 11 decks and 918 cabins, Morella Discovery can hold 1,830 passengers. Before we start walking, please don't forget to give this video a cheeky little like, subscribe and turn on notifications for my bi-weekly travel and cruise vlogs. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, threads and Patreon at Travel Blog Jamie. We begin our tour on deck 11 where you'll find the Surf and Turf Steakhouse, Coralar Pan-Asian Restaurant, Bar 11 and Sushi Bar. By the way, I filmed this vlog in one continuous loop starting at 9.30 a.m. And to deck 10 where you'll find the climbing wall, mini golf, plenty of deck space with sun loungers, the jogging track, deck bar, children's clubs and the observatory deck. reservations needed for mini golf nor is there a surcharge. Use 
of the wall is included in your cruise fare. of those four areas in the children's club. For obvious reasons, I couldn't film inside those venues. I'm not looking for a prison sentence just yet, thank you very much. But I thought you might like to see the schedule of events during our week on board. And parents, did you notice that the deck bar is positioned right outside? Drink responsibly, obviously. Right, let's keep walking. Deck 9, we have the adults only veranda, ocean spa and gym, the glass house restaurant, indoor pool, the glass house bar, the snack shack, main pool and whirlpools, another deck bar, and islands buffet dining. Islands is open for breakfast, lunch, afternoon tea and dinner.
just outside Ireland, you can help yourself to coffee, tea, water and juices. The highly imaginatively named Main Pool. I mean, at least there's no denying what it is. The pools are filled with salt water each morning and heated to a good temperature. The Snack Shack is open for breakfasts and lunch. Glass House serves lunch, dinner and late night snacks. Good to know, no reservations are required here. Another spot to grab coffee, tea, water and juices. This large indoor venue also comprises of the Glass House Bar. Opposite you have what is known as the Indoor Pool. What what that is. If you want to bag a day bed, just be warned they go like hotcakes. Get here early. On our cruise, this particular pool was open for adults only between the hours of 2 and 5 p.m. I'm sure this will differ from itinerary to itinerary. By the way, it's actually quite tricky saying itinerary twice. Itinerary, itinerary, itinerary. You can access the adults only veranda spot at the aft through the relaxation area. Admittedly, it might not be very relaxing for the people in there, but I didn't design the ship.
good to know. There's no surcharge to use the veranda nor the ocean's gym. Not that I would use it anyway. Channeling my best Kate Winslet in Titanic. Take me down, goddammit. I know that was terrible, wasn't it? By the way, this lobby spans seven whole decks. Decks seven and eight for an array of passenger cabins. Deck six for more passenger cabins, plus one of my favorite places to hang out, the coffee port. And yes, I know I'm addicted to iced coffee and what? This is where you'll also find a cute little library. In this seating area, you'll find sockets and USB ports to charge your devices. and down to deck five for gallery 47 degrees dining, essentially a main dining room serving Italian fare, destination services, photo gallery, reception, shops, and the Squid and Anchor bar and lounge. No reservations required for gallery 47 degrees. Below is the main dining room, 47 degrees.
looking down to the atrium bar. If you'd rather do it yourself, you can book your excursions using these handy screens as well as using the TUI Navigate app. Deck 4 is where you'll find the promenade deck with lots of lounges to relax, main dining room 47 degrees, the atrium bar, live room and casino, and finally the Broadway show lounge. No reservations are required for 47 degrees.
and a quick stroll around Promenade Deck. Be aware that the very front of Promenade Deck is for crew only, so you can't do a 360 here. and down to decks two and three for mostly passenger cabins, plus photo studios and escape room. You'll find one of these handy water filters on every passenger deck. In your cabins, there's a carafe for you to fill. If you'd like to see the full tour and review of our cabin, just search Travel Blog Jamie Morella Discovery Ocean View Cabin. And there you have my tour and review of Morella Discovery. If you have any comments or questions, please drop them below and I'll get back to you. We've also just spent one week on board Morella Discovery, cruising the Bahamas, New York and Charleston. So make sure you do check out those vlogs. As always, thank you all for watching and today's shout outs go to Gaynor, Mike, Sean, Alison, Matt, Stephanie, Alan, Melissa, Liz, Dave, Kelly, KM Cooper, Charles, Kevin, Lisa, Liz, Alan, Paul, Tim, The Travelling Hatter, Sam, Jody and Joe and Paul. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram, Threads, Patreon and YouTube.